Hi guys, it's Gareth from The Good Salmon Guide. I hope you're not too overwhelmed with everything that's going on at the moment. And now that quite a few salons across the UK and Ireland have got a date for reopening, I think we're going to see an increasing number of employees who are refusing to come back to work. And I thought it worth just having a quick chat about what you as the employer can do about it. Since employees have been furloughed, of course they've received 80% of their wages and a small percentage will be very happy to take this money and not come back to work. However, there are plenty of others who are likely to have genuine fears about returning to the workplace, particularly due to the nature of what we can do. Now, is there anything you can do as the employer if this would happen to you? So firstly, our gut reaction is to say, well, I employ them, I've carried out a risk assessment, the workplace is as safe as I can make it. Therefore, if you don't want to come to work, that's fine, but I'm going to look to dismiss you. Yes, you can do this. However, please tread very carefully. In law, you have a responsibility for health and safety to your employees and other visitors. This means that if your employee could claim that the workplace was not safe, then any dismissal could be seen as being unfair under the grounds of health and safety protection. In the UK, the technical area, that's called S44, if you want to research it any further. This doesn't mean you can't start disciplinary proceedings with somebody who returns to work. However, before you do so, I would strongly advise that you've had in-depth conversations with them about your risk assessment process, about your health and safety measures, and to try and understand their concerns. Now, there haven't been any cases of this nature brought to court yet, so we don't know which side of the fence the tribunals are likely to sit on. However, it is likely they will, they will strongly favour the employee in this sort of health and safety case. So, as I say, please do tread carefully before you jump in and dismiss someone. As ever, if you'd like any further guidance or conversation about an employee who's causing you these sorts of issues, please pick up the phone. Also, just to reiterate, we are here to support you through this process and we'll be sending further guidance out as we receive it about the things you've got to do with the reopening. So please keep coming back to our website. We'll also be popping some things out to you on email as soon as we receive guidance from government. Thanks a lot and stay safe.